In this task, you'll learn how to create a new shape file that you'll digitize into during task three of this lab. I'll do this in QGIS browser, which I have open now. And so to create this new shape file, I'm going to navigate to where I want it to be created, which is our lab data folder, navigating to the module five lab data folder. I'm going to select that folder and click the new shape file button, which opens up the new vector layer window. So I'm going to specify that this be a polygon shape file. And I want this to be in a New Mexico state plane coordinate reference system. So I'm going to click the select CRS button to open up the coordinate reference system selector. And I'm going to type New Mexico into the filter box up here. And this eliminates it down to all the various flavors of New Mexico state plane. And I'm going to choose New Mexico state plane central zone in the NAT83 HARN datum. And I'll click OK. While we're creating a new shapefile, we have the option of adding attribute columns. It's possible to add them later, but if you know of some attribute columns you'll need in this layer, it makes the most sense to define them here. I'm going to need an attribute column for holding the zoning code. So in the new attribute section, I'll define a new field with the name of zone code. I'm going to make it a text column with a width of 5. This means the new zone code attribute column will store data as text and will only be available to accommodate five characters of data. Since our longest zoning code is four digits, this is more than adequate. Now that this is all specified, I'll add to the attribute list. You see it get populated. Every new shape file automatically includes an ID column, and now we have our second zone code column as well. I'll now click OK and the save layer as comes up. Since I right clicked on the data folder, it defaults to this place to save our layer and I'm going to name it parcels.shape and click save. Now it may not automatically show up right away. I may have to go up and click this refresh button to see the new shape file in our data folder. And sure enough, there it is. You can see the, the parcels layer and if I expand this data folder, we'll see that parcels is there. If I click on it, and go to the metadata tab, I'll see that it has no features right now. It is an Esri shape file, and it is in the spatial reference that I chose, but it has no features yet. We're going to create those in task three of this lab. In the next task, you'll learn how to georeference a scanned map.